So, sniffers are in Minecraft now, and I want lots of them, but I have none. Hmm, how are we gonna fix this? I've got a plan. We're gonna find a sniffer egg, hatch it, and duplicate it until we get 1,000 sniffers. Then we're gonna create a sniffer sanctuary big enough for all of them to enjoy. But to get our first sniffer, we need this brush. Nice, and now we need to find a warm ocean biome. Come on. Yes, we're here. Okay, now we need to look for suspicious sun. Uh, excuse me. And it looks like this. Now we just use our brush on it. And we got wheat. Oh my god, we have our very first sniffer egg. Okay, now let's do that for the rest of this area. Emeralds, pottery shard. Oh my god, let's go, a second one. So now I'm going to place these eggs here. And now we wait an uncertain amount of time for these eggs to hatch. Let's go, our first sniffer out of the 1,000 sniffers we're going to have. <laughs> it's sniffing already. Let's go, our second sniffer. Wait a second, but how do we breed these guys? They've definitely got to grow up first. Oh my god, they're massive. But now, how do we breed them? Let's try wheat. No. What about potatoes? No. Carrots? No. How are we ever going to get to a thousand sniffers if we can't figure out how to breed them? But that's when I discovered the only way to breed sniffers is by using torch flowers. And the only way to get them is from sniffers digging them up. So it looks like we need to use these guys to build an awesome sniffer farm. But first, let's upgrade this enclosure. Ooh, our first torch flower seed. If we get one more, we can breed these guys. Oh no, it's going night. We need to build this enclosure fast. I think here will do. Now we can say goodbye to the pink sheep and... Yes, that's one sniffer. And that's both sniffers in the enclosure. It doesn't look like much right now, but remember, this is only version one. And the final version of this enclosure is going to be insane and have everything a sniffer could ever want. But now it's time to build the torch flower seed farm. And for it, we're going to need a lot of resources. And thankfully, we have everything we need in here. All right, we've got everything we need to build this farm. And I think here is a pretty good place to build it. So let's flatten the area. Now let's build the area where the farming sniffers will actually stand. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, and before we fill it in, let's build the collection system underneath that will actually collect all the torch flowers. All right, so we'll have a hole here and our chest here where all the torch flower seeds should go into. Now we'll have two hoppers here like this, and now it's time for our rails. Then we'll add some powered rails here to make sure the cart doesn't stop. I really hope this is enough powered rails, otherwise the collection system is not gonna work. Okay, let's test if this works. Oh wait, we should probably power the rails first. How do we do that? I guess we have to go underneath. Yes. Okay, now if we turn this into a hopper minecart and put it on the tracks, we have a fully working collection system. Wait a second, the sniffers dug up more torch seeds. Now we have two, we can breed them. Let's go! <laughs> this is so cool. And we have our third sniffer egg. Ooh, this might be useful for the farm. So let's quickly finish this bit up. And add some glass walls around it. Now we have a fully functioning sniffer farm. All we're missing is the sniffer. Oh, these sniffer eggs take ages to hatch. In fact, they take even longer than I thought. Each sniffer egg takes 20 minutes to hatch. Meaning if we hatched one egg at a time, it would take over two weeks to get 1,000 sniffers. And I literally don't have that long because next week I'm meant to be recording another video. So yeah, we're in trouble. I do remember hearing something about moss and that it helps the eggs hatch faster i guess that's our only option yes moss oh uh creeper no nope. okay hopefully this actually works and i'm not just making this up all right let's see if this helps Let's go, our third sniffer. So it turns out moss actually makes sniffer eggs hatch two times faster. And that factor, along with us hatching multiple eggs at the same time, should make getting 1,000 sniffers in our time frame possible, but it's still gonna be really hard. Oh, he's so cute. Maybe we should bring those guys over here so we can get all the torch seeds collected. Come on, guys, I've got someone to introduce you to. Ooh, more torch seeds. Come with me. There's one, and there's number two. Now we can breed these guys again and start working on getting our fourth sniffer and whilst we're waiting for that egg to grow up i think it's time we upgraded our enclosure let's say goodbye to this stinky first enclosure and now that it's gone let's work on step one of our insane sniffer sanctuary which is going to be building a sniffer protection wall around this entire area and because 
sniffers are mainly red and green, I think we should use those colors for the walls. Which brings me to a mangrove swamp, because I think these mangrove fences will work perfectly for the red. And for the green, we'll use green concrete, which I got from my concrete duplicating UFO. But now for the ultimate question. Which fence design do we use? I like this one better. So now let's build this fence design all the way around this area, leaving enough space for 1,000 sniffers. This is going to be a big fence. First, we'll do this layer. Um, do you mind, spider? I'm trying to build the sniffer wall. Oh my god, this area is actually massive. It's taken me about 15 minutes to build this first layer. But finally, the first layer is complete. Nice. And we also now have four sniffers. Oh my god, that's good. Wait, yes. And we've got torch flowers. So we can start working on getting our fifth sniffer. Let's build the second layer of the wall. And the sniffer protection wall is complete. We also now have five sniffers and one egg hatching. But we've still got a long way to go to fill up this massive area with sniffers. So before we move on to step two of our sniffer sanctuary plan, let's fill up our sniffer farm. Because we're going to need a lot more of these seeds if we're ever going to get to a thousand sniffers. There's sniffer number six. Reading time. All right, there's two more eggs. And that's two more sniffers. Wow, this is taking a long time. So I think I'll just AFK and let the torch flowers build up. Right, that's a lot of seeds. Give me lots of eggs. All right, there's four eggs. But we've still got 30 seeds, so let's see how many we can get. And we now have 44 fully grown sniffers. So the farm is now full. But before we start populating this area with sniffers, we need to build a place to hatch sniffer eggs. And luckily, that is exactly what step two is in our sniffer sanctuary plan. Ow. And we're going to build it here, so let's flatten this area. All right, first, we'll lay down all our moss. This is going to make hatching sniffers so much easier. And we have enough to be able to hatch 70 at a time. Next, I want to build like a canopy over top of it using some red wool. The only problem is I don't have any red wool. So we'll just get some red dye and bang, these sheep are now red. All right, nice. Now I want to add some things that will give the baby sniffers some culture as soon as they hatch. I'm thinking paintings and some great music for them to enjoy. Do you make them like this? Yes. Then we'll place down some concrete and stuff here. And paintings. Okay, so that's the paintings. And now for the music. I have this jukebox, but it doesn't have any discs. So let's try and get some. I haven't done this for a while, so hopefully we don't die. Oh! Okay, not good first attempt. Yes, let's go. All right, I'm getting distracted, but before we move on to step three of the Sniffer Sanctuary plan, we should probably test this place out. That is a lot of torch flower seeds, so we should get 22 eggs. Yes, yeah, sniffer eggs. Only 21, but that's good enough. Oh, yeah. And whilst these sniffers are hatching, I want to create some more farms. You see, Mojang says that sniffers are extinct animals like dinosaurs. And the seeds that they dig up are for extinct plants. So I was thinking it would be cool if we could decorate this area with some plants that the sniffers are used to. So to do that, we need to farm them. First, we need to create some space. So subscribe to Lockdown Life. Nice. And now we need water. Okay, torch flower seeds need to be used to breed the sniffers, but we can plant all of these pitcher pods. I guess we could do a few torch flower seeds. I wonder how cool these are going to look. They're like giant turnips. Oh my god, they grow fast. But I guess the ultimate question is, what's going to happen first? The sniffers hatch or these fully grow? Oh, the sniffers are already hatched. Yeah, they got a bit of a head start. But anyways, we now have 65 out of the 1,000 sniffers. Ah, uh, we're only 6% of the way there. Oh my god, we're going to have a lot of sniffers. Let's see how cool these plants look. 
Let's go. They're all fully grown and they look so cool. This is sick. I can't believe this is vanilla Minecraft. And now let's decorate this area. This is really going to make all the sniffers feel like they're at home. I thought this update was going to be really bad, but it turns out they've added so much. Let me know what you guys think about the update in the comments. Place some up here. One for this sniffer. And that's all of those ones. Now let's scatter a few torch flowers around. Nice. And whilst those plants were growing, I bred up the sniffers. So let's hatch 24 more eggs. Let's get closer to 1,000 sniffers. Let's go. We now have 89 sniffers, which means we're just under 9% of the way there to 1,000 sniffers. However, I kind of feel like I don't belong. I really want to blend in with all these sniffers, but I kind of stick out. But I have a plan to fix that. I want to get this. It's going to be hard to get, but I think we can do it. Wait, I think I just heard this pink sheep say something. I bet you can't get the sniffer armor in 10 minutes. Oh, and if you don't, you have to kill 20 sniffers mo ha 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 I'm not gonna kill my own sniffers. Are you scared, lol? All right, I've gotta prove that guy wrong. The 10 minutes starts now. All right, uh, quick, Elytra, go, 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 go. Okay, we need leather armor so we can dye it. So let's kill as many cows and horses as we can. Leather, please. All right, that's all the leather. We need to fly back to base and get a gold helmet. Yes, gold. All right, there's the helmet. And craft up the leather armor. Chest plate, leggings, boots. The plan's working so far. Uh, red dye, red dye, yes. Okay, dye this red. All right, now we need some emeralds from our villagers so that we can put the trims on it. Is there anything we could trade with them? Ooh, we can steal emeralds from our beacon. <laughs> Sorry, beacon, but I need this. Yes. All right, now all we need is the armor trim thing, which means we need to fly to 1.20 chunks. Hopefully we can get there in time. I really don't want to lose my sniffers. All right, we can get these things from loads of different places. I'm not sure if we can get them from pirate ships, though. No, maybe in here. Come on. Yes. Oh, no, we need one more. Wait, we have no rockets. No. All right, let's quickly apply them. So emeralds, we need these and like that. Oh, we just need one more, but we've got no rockets left. We have to go on foot. Oh, come on. There's got to be a structure. Oh, a village. Do these have things in? Search every chest. Quick. No, I'm not even sure if you can get them in here. No, there's nothing here. A ruined nether portal. Let's go. Oh, what the hell? There's not one. And we've run out of time. Great. Well then, I'm a man of my word. We didn't get the final trim on the boots, so we didn't get the sniffer armor complete, meaning we now have to kill 20 sniffers. And... 20. Are you happy now? RIP sniffers. Ha 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 ha. We definitely need to get payback on him. But since we're now down to 69 sniffers, I think it's time we start repopulating. And whilst doing that, I'll be thinking about the next step in our sniffer sanctuary plan. All right, first let's breed up all these guys and then we'll try and use these eggs to reinvest in this farm. That way the rates just keep on getting better and better. Although them being really cramped might be an issue for breeding. I'm sure it won't be too bad. All right, that middle moss section is now full with eggs. So let's place the rest the eggs over here and after these eggs hatch we should be back to where we were but we want to make some serious progress to 1000 sniffers because a thousand sniffers is a lot of sniffers and whilst those eggs are hatching we can continue breeding up these guys and getting more eggs so we can add some more eggs and now these eggs are hatching let's go more sniffers can also breed up these wild sniffers more sniffers inbound oh and speaking of sniffers in something uh there is some sniffers in this cave how did you manage to get in there? Operation Rescue the Sniffer. Come on, you got this. Oh my god, you're so big. How'd you get in this cave? All right, come out. This way. Nice. I hope there's no more caves, but like, let's just block this one up for now. Yes, more sniffers. Woo, three, two, one. Nice. Oh, I, I totally called it. All right, and about two hours later, we are now on 200 sniffers. But now it's time to move on to step four of the plan. Building all these sniffers a playground so they can enjoy their time within this sniffer sanctuary. So let's grab everything we're going to need. And this looks like a good spot. So first, we'll build a trampoline. We'll use red around the sides of it. And of course, slime in the middle. And um, whilst we're building this playground, let me tell you some things about sniffers that you probably didn't know. The sniffers walking animation is actually based off a centipede. All right, let's finish off this trampoline. 
Nice. Next, I kind of want to build a water slide going down towards the sea. We need to make it quite wide so sniffers can actually fit on it. And now to make it work, we just need to add water here. But before we do that, did you know baby sniffers are actually called snifflets? They're actually so cute. Here we go. Perfect. And the final thing I want to add is sniffer monkey bars. Could you imagine a sniffer actually doing monkey bars? <laughs> Nice, and before we get sniffers to try out the playground, did you know that a sniffer smell is so good, it can smell that squid from here? Alright, I made that one up, but seriously, sniffers are so cool. And a real fact is that they sniff up plants like these every 8 minutes. Alright, come on sniffers, let's try out the playground. What do you want to try out first? Uh, maybe the trampoline? I don't think they're very good at the trampoline. Uh, maybe the monkey bars? Oh, they're too shy to use the monkey bars. Surely they'll be able to use the water slide. Yes. There he goes! He's going down the water slide. <laughs> oh, he loves it. So, what did you think of that? So, before we move on to the next step in our plan, let's make some more sniffer progress. Because we're still only 20% of the way there to 1,000 sniffers. Okay, we now have 370 sniffers, meaning we're 37% of the way there to 1,000 sniffers, which is pretty good. But whilst I was waiting for the eggs to hatch, I was researching 1.20. I found out that they've added these pots, and one variation of the pot is actually a sniffer pot. So I think it's only right we get this pot and build a museum for it as step number five of our plan. This is going to be really hard because there's loads of different patterns, and you find them in the same way you find sniffer eggs. So so we're gonna need a lot of brushes. And now we need to find loads of suspicious sand. First time lucky? What is it? Oh, it's cold. That's an emerald, so don't need that. Um, is that a trident guy? Oh, I actually got it. That's sick. All right, it looks like there's no sus sand here, but let's see if we can continue to be lucky. There's a floating pillager outpost. Um, what the hell is going on here? And I just got mining fatigue. But we can use this to finish our sniffer armor. I may have just done that. All right, come on. I just want that sniffer part. It's going to look so cool. No. Yes. Oh, a pottery shard. But which one is it? No, it's the wrong one. Oh, yes. Another one. But I am drowning. It's the same one. Oh, yes. We got it. We actually got it. Oh my god, a sniffer egg. And another pot. Yes, we got a second snort pottery shard. If we can get two more of these, we can make a full sniffer pot. <laughs> Ow. Where did that even come from? Wait, there's two of them. No, 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 no. Oh, that was kind of close. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Only one more to go. A sniffer egg? Maybe. Yes. Oh, my God. Thank God. All right. So after about two hours of searching, we have six more sniffer eggs. And more importantly, we have the sniffer pot. But before we build a museum for it, I think it's worthy of at least 500 sniffers. Wait, I literally have a stack of eggs. Wait, I'm going to speed bridge with eggs. Whoa. So we're now at 500 sniffers, 50% of the way there to 1,000. So now we can finally build this museum. Here looks like a good place. I'm thinking pillars in the corner. Those are not pillars. And we'll have chiseled quartz as the floor. And for the roof, we'll use some quartz stairs. And now quickly before we add the pot, let's just do a splash of glowstone around the pot. And here we go. The Sniffer Pot Museum has been completed. So with step five of the plan complete, that means we've only got one step left before we get to 1,000 sniffers. And that is building a giant sniffer statue to watch over all of the sniffers. Oh, and by the way, this statue is going to be one pixel per block. So it's going to be absolutely massive, meaning we're going to breed up the sniffers at the same time. Hopefully this doesn't crash my PC. Here we go. Ow. 
And so, after hours and hours of breeding, hatching, and building, the sniffer enclosure is complete with over 1,000 sniffers. We have a fully working sniffer farm, an amazing hatching area, a playground for the sniffers to enjoy, as well as the almighty sniffer pot, and finally, the giant sniffer statue with me standing on top in sniffer armor. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and you should watch this video next.